Yes, I think we better. Well, it was a weekend to forget for our football team. So we're starting with the amazing Elise Christie. The Nottingham Bay short track speed skater is looking to win Team GB's first gold of the games at the Winter Olympics tomorrow. So the football and Leicester City manager Claude Puel is this week looking to put behind him the whole Riyad Mahrez saga and potentially the worst two weeks of his footballing career. Well, on to Derby County, who were our only team to get a result this weekend, earning a useful point at home to Norwich. The Rams have slipped from second in the championship table to third, but they did stretch their unbeaten run to 12 games, as Colin Hazeldon reports. Now on to the struggles at the city ground. A month ago, Nottingham Forest brought in new manager Aitor Karanka with great optimism and credentials. He's shaken up the team by shipping out eight players and bringing in 10 new signings. But he's having a frustrating start, as I found out on Saturday. Well, no day off for the Forest team yesterday or Notts County, who also suffered a bad defeat this weekend. Fog the Stags, who are now sixth. In rugby, what a weekend for Leicester's Johnny May, who's been really enjoying himself in England colours. He scored ice hockey, Nottingham Panthers are struggling again, shut out 4-0 by old rival Sheffield at home on Saturday before crashing 7-3 at league leaders Cardiff last night. Well, let's finish the way we started on good news, thankfully. This is Paddy Chapman from Beeston, and he's just become the world croquet champion. He beat the world number two in a tight contest in New York. Zealand and that's brilliant. Phew, that was a lot, wasn't it? It was a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. So, Forrest on, a, on Saturday, yeah? You've had better days, Yeah, <laughs> cold and miserable, to, but thanks to all the fans who helped us with our feature. We'll see you on Late News, Alex and I. Bye. Bye.